Hey buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live. Lisa, the painful RPG, we return to it finally after... Eight years. Eight years. We played it when it first came out and it obviously got our attention because like weirdness, it has an earthboundness about it, except with a dark, dark post-apocalyptic theme. You guys have no doubt heard about it because since then, at the time I'm not sure how well it was received, but since then, it has become massively popular. 10,000 reviews on Steam. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes, like over 10,000, overwhelmingly pos uh, positive. Wow. And I have to say, uh, today's sponsor is Daverball, also ties into this whole thing, because he got us to, he helped us play it back then when there was no controller support, and we were a coach-based show, and even Steam didn't have built-in co controller support back then, so I had to emulate it. Things weren't as like easy to do back then. We tried our best, but it, there were still problems when we played. Mm. And I remember my wrists were like acting up. And what? Say what? So I said, we'll set it aside for a while. Dave Ball actually worked on the game, helped the guy who made it. Yeah. Get it compatible with things like controller support. I think he helped them like with platform, like platforming it on Steam and stuff mm. like that. Because this was made. Uh, th I love this game. Like, I, I, I it's kind of crazy that we, we didn't come back to it sooner. But we set it aside because of the controller issues, and then it just like kept on being set aside, and mm. it never seemed like the right time to go play a depressing game. <laughs> um, but it was made in RPG Maker, also very interesting, mm. a very approachable game development engine. Than the, the the first ever engine I used to make Party Dude. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I always bring up Party Dude. <laughs> oh, Party Dude. <laughs> Thank you, Daver Ball. All right. You know, I was thinking there's actually a new engine coming out soon. I'm just mm -hmm. going to have a sip here. We'll get started in a second. He's having a ginger chai tea. But a new RPG maker that was actually a Tokyo game show that's coming out in like a few weeks. And I was thinking about how, I don't know what game, I, what engine I want to make a game in, but I was thinking about how fun it would be to make Party Dude, which was a game that when I made it was funny because I only used the built-in assets and I used, there was no phone. I wanted to make a modern day game and there was no phone, so I used bones. And then the bone phone was this thing in this guy's house. <laughs> And that I was just writing a story about, and I think like the dad comes in and he's like he's got armor on. It's clearly fantasy assets, uh -huh. but I'm writing a modern day story. So he's your dad coming home from work. <laughs> but I think it would be funny to take this new engine that's coming out and only use the built-in assets. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and make that a rule for myself: only the built-in assets. Wow! And write a stupid story. The thing is, I bet now the built-in assets are probably like robust. Uh, all right, sorry, David Ball. We'll play the game. <laughs> Um, actually, I've only that's been eating, waiting eight years. The other side thing, Dave Rubal, huge longtime supporter of the show. He actually helped with the the chat room that you guys are in right now. Mm -hmm. Helped, if not did all of it. No, there's multiple people have worked yeah. on all the stuff that goes on in the background, including Nulani. Um, and anyways, but he's like the Turbo Stick stuff. This is Dave Rubal making it work. Yeah. Um, so huge thank you to Dave Rubal, and like we said to him. We have to, he never requests stuff, so we have to kind of go after him to get him to do sponsors. And so we suggested, hey, you want to put your name on this? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I guess I have to, kind of, <laughs> for this game. All right. I'm kind of hot. Yeah, dude. Weird. Bring it down a notch. I was wondering if it was my quote. What a slow start. All right, here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Or the menopause. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I don't know who Dingling is. <laughs> but you little thief. Stop. Stop. Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. Aww. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. Idiots. I don't remember this intro. 
Let's go, guys. These drawings. <laughs> Look at the kid with his head against the basketball net. Mm. On the very right. Mm. Thanks, Brad. Being a kid is rough. Hey, did you see that? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, you didn't have to cover for me. I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry you got beat up. I think we all got beat up, guys. You were playing the demo before. Okay, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that we were we went so far back as the demo. I go in houses? Let's check this house. We got a special demo. That's, so we were in the special demo. So, but. Guess we'll see. All right. Look, okay, now I'm gonna acknowledge it now. So, the, the, I was about to say it when I said I don't know who Dingling is, but then I, we were thinking about leaving it a surprise for you guys who don't know, but anyways, Becky and I were put into this game. Yeah. And then Becky suddenly, like, in the scene, well, you'll see. But, uh... <laughs> Fraser gave himself a lisp. Um, but I think we're still in this, I think we're in the full game, too. Mm because I know that Samtron played this not knowing that. Oh, seriously? And then tweeted us, like, what the fuck? Oh my god, <laughs> When she was doing a playthrough, like, on her <laughs> channel. It was, like, one of the games she came back with. Oh my god. And plays it and sees us in it. Oh, that's awesome. And this is after we've moved to Japan, and, like, she's moved away from Japan. Yeah. Aww. Funny. Look at the leg animation. That's so funny. <laughs> and you can't jump, eh? No. Sorry, I'm really not soaking in the intro to this game. I should... <laughs> uh, I think this might be a little bit loud here. Oh, come on. There we go. Once again, my son steps into my house. Beat to shit. I'm not buying you another shirt. Worthless shit, kid. Go to your room. Now. It's locked like always. This is my room? Oh, I guess the other one's the bathroom. took some joy. <sighs> what the hell? Uh, it's okay, little buddy. 
Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe. It's interesting that he has a, a, a like, that he talks. Yeah. Because he's a prime candidate for silent protagonist, right? Yeah. But, yeah. It's kind of refreshing. But then I can't voice him. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yes. <laughs> what kind of voice did I give these guys? Oh, God. I don't know. Brad. Mm. What is that? Mm. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Is that a baby? Mm. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. A baby? Where did you get that? I don't know. I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Dudes, wait. <laughs> Dudes. You know what this means? This means there's a girl out there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that means there's a hope for humanity. Woo. Woo. I bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it a boy or a girl? I didn't check. It's a girl. Wow. <laughs> we need to tell someone. Ando! If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Dope, dude. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. The rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know. I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. I love how he's standing. Yes. Brad, that's insane. You keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what could happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. <laughs> My freaking face. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not giving. I'm not going to give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. Oh, Brad. He's a good dude. <laughs> Look at their face now. <laughs> The nipples, why are the nipples I out? Know. <laughs> They're helping. Built her an underground room so that nobody can find out. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Aw, the drawings. Oh, look at the, yeah, the drawings are amazing. Hmm. Because he let his guard slip because of that. Yeah, he did go ball day. <laughs> That's amazing. Look. <laughs> Is he showing it off? Like it's a good thing? They all got it yeah. done. <laughs> they look great. Uh, I love it. Poor Brad. <laughs> Hello, Cobierto. Oh, he went down to get it. Hey! You there! This wild beast won't leave me alone. <laughs> I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climb and I pulled my groin climb in the street. I'm getting glitchiness on my TV screen. This isn't the game's fault. It's uh, happens on rare occasion. I have to replug this. Choto amate everybody. Wait a moment. There we go. Hi. So give me a hand, will ya? We don't have sound now. Do we not? Dang it. Uh, how long till I can save? Because I'll probably have to reboot the game for that. Damn it. Hmm. I should have. I didn't even think of that. Anybody played this recently? Ian Kid, you seem to have played it at least. You know some stuff about it. Is a save coming? Where do you usually save in this game? No, you haven't played it. Okay. Mm. Um, anyways, looks like I have three joy in hand. A drug that makes you feel nothing. Use it in a pinch. Weapons, armors, key items. I think there's a save on the next screen, but some good music before then. God damn it. Uh, that was a long intro. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I say we go forward. Yeah, that sucks. What could I do to maybe uh, snap it out of it? I think I might be able to snap it out. Mm. Let me just see. There's no, like, sound. I don't think it's, I could. Status. Yeah. Do you guys want me to sing? La, la, la. <sighs> Let me try to snap it out of it. Was there music before I um, did that? Yeah, there was like background ambience. Maybe I could tell Windows to like 
Maybe it just like defaulted to another thing once I unplugged like that. Hmm, I always have to maybe, do it twice. Maybe there wasn't, maybe it was in the screen before. I was just drinking regular coffee. Fraser's drinking a delicious ginger chai. A Fraser song? Mm. There might not have been music at that mm. point. Maybe. Like maybe try walking forward a bit. No, I'm, mm, I'm missing yeah. out. Fuck it. We'll have to skip through. <clears throat> I'm not giving this game a short stick. <sighs> Hopefully okay. it won't glitch again. <sighs> oh, man. All right. So how many of you guys have played this game? Ah. Uh. Well, that's kind of cool. I wanted to see, I guess those kids are those dudes grown up, hey? I wanted yeah, to see. Yeah, we could pick out which ones they, how they look. Yeah. Nobody played it? That's crazy. I've seen several complete playthroughs. Yeah, I guess that's those guys older. Yeah. But I mean, the blonde, the guy that lays on the ground at the beginning doesn't look like any of these guys. Does it do that? No, I would guess it's the one on the left. I don't think any of these guys are the ones in the future. No. Shadows played a yeah. good job. did back when it came out and absolutely loved it. I'm gonna get the mouse off the screen. <sighs> oh, I wonder what happens if I do go past this house. Ah. a bit more audio too. Oh yeah, it turned itself down for some reason at Weird. some point too. That's very odd. It's coming out of the laptop. You guys thought you could hear it? They said it, the audio doesn't seem to be right just whenever we started again this time. No, this no, no. game, no, it's... Even right now? Yes. It's coming out of the laptop. <laughs> this game is a little bit cursed on this show. Like, I remember the first show. I wanted to love our time with it, but it had, like, you know, there was problems. <sighs> this isn't the game's fault. It's just... This is because I set it to that. Let's... I hope it just switches. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's not gonna switch until I reboot the game again. Oh my god, man. Damn it. Now it's on the TV. Okay. Thanks to whoever noticed that you had no audio. Mm. I could hear it because it was coming into the laptop, yeah. but. Much better. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Continue walking past the house this time. Which house? Our house. Oh, I nope, thought all I... the way. Okay. 
So the reason I ended up unplugging and plugging in, which screwed up the audio, was because uh, the, you guys couldn't see it, but the TV in the studio was flickering for... It's only happened one time before. Tiny's gotten beat up today. Oh, you can keep going. Well, Your shit. Shadow. The reason I thought you couldn't was because the screen stopped. Mmm, yeah. Oh, crap. I see. Huh? Oh, Laith. It's perfect. What? in the future. Maybe. Interesting. I thought it was doing a loop like we can't avoid but go home but mm -hmm. I mean there may be <coughs> something going on. <coughs> Excuse me. him a new shirt and give him hugs. I'm glad that we restarted now. That's the sound of a baby. <laughs> hmm. That's crazy you can miss that. Yeah. It's not good times. <laughs> it blinked at all the wrong times last time. Why? What are you noticing? Um, just whenever it clipped into this, I had blinked or looked down at the chat and then all of a sudden it was here. And then that mm. too. I didn't know if you had walked. <laughs> I was pretty sure you hadn't. Do you want me to do the cookie? No. <laughs> I like how he looks around. Yeah. Core. Can I go back? No. I love how suspicious he looks at you. <laughs> it's just his face. Anybody who's just tuning in, we're not uh, voicing this because we, um, our electronics messed up and had to restart the progress. We're just skipping through. We weren't very far. <laughs> God, I love the faces. Yeah, he has like a full head of hair there. Yeah, very bushy. <laughs> But then he had a kid. Mm. What? <laughs> what? Why don't you have hair? <laughs> There's something I 
can't put my finger on. My dick don't work. <laughs> it is funny that we have a kitty named Lisa now. Mm-hmm. But that's a namesake for a Simpsons moment, as is the theme with our kitties. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what else to call a, a girl cat when we got one. Yeah. What other namesakes could she have gotten? I was against it. I was yeah, against but it, Lisa. You wanted Lisa at first. You were, like, toying with... No, I said I Lisa, Lisa needs, needs braces, braces from right the beginning. Away. I okay. had the idea long before we even met her. Okay, maybe yeah. I was just against having a cat named Lisa. But Lisa needs braces is pretty great. I don't know what you have against Lisa. <laughs> She's fine. It is it's a, a fine it name. It suits her. Mm. It's a good name for a cat. So he tried to protect his sister. I wonder, I don't know if the devs for, we played recently um, Eastbound. I wonder if the devs took some inspiration from this, because no doubt it will draw parallels, mm -hmm. both being very popular, successful indie games. Um, the protagonists are similar, kind of, in the... Yeah, yeah. Situation, it's hard. We don't know what the situation was in Eastbound. They left that a mystery. We don't know if he just found her or what, but... We only played into the first to the next town. Yeah. He did some sewing. Okay. Oh, he made that. That's what yeah. that shot was. Yeah. We said, damn, Frizzy looks bored with this game. No, I'm skipping through because we just had a technical difficulty and we've been through this recently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skipping it so that we can get back to where we were. I love that it looks like Brad goes out and shows it to them. Yeah. <laughs> Strong character building to open up the game. Mm -hmm. You immediately care a lot about Brad, and you, obviously you care about Lisa. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hey, you there. This wild beast won't leave me alone. I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my growing climb in this tree. So give me a hand, will ya? So your first battle <laughs> is against this doggy. Armstrong style. Um, guard. Execute? What? Oh, like execute the guard. Oh, I mean, we're beating up a dog. Cheese legs, what? Oh yeah, things appear at the top as you go. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit now. I like the bass in the background. Mm-hmm. I love how the dog doesn't even look vicious. Cheese legs. Where does it say cheese legs? Oh, that's his name? Cheese legs bite to input attacks. Left punch, right punch, zipper punches, double palm thrust. Since it's WASD, it's probably the D pad here. Um, 
fan, Brad Armstrong family style karate. That part gets kind of cut off, so we'll probably read it. I think I was supposed to like do something with that. I'll try it again. Should this be registering? Oh no. So, I wonder, uh, top and bottom's getting cut off. Of what? The text, whenever it says. Okay, I well, we'll read, read it. it for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised it's like the game. Yeah, oh, I see. It's a crop. It's a crop. I don't know what to do about the friggin' controller support now if I can't fight properly. Let me fix the screen since it is a, it is cropped. I can fix it. This is the uh, the last thing we played with this template for this show was Delta Rune, and I think it needed cropping at the top and bottom. I guess zero cropping for this. Now I'm gonna have to readjust the hole. Okay. Because now it's very big. Okay. So I have no idea what to do about the controller thing, because this is, um, controller supports in it, but it's not registering it. Yeah. It's like, I'd almost be better off turning off controller support and emulating this time around, ironically. Because <laughs> the last time we played it, we had to do our own controller yeah. emulation. gonna have to lean forward every time. Do you want me to press those parts? No. This is going to be on the screen. Oh, nice. There you go. Brad won the battle. Brad dot dot dot. 53 experience points, buster punches, new skill. You're pretty tough for a whacked out, midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. <laughs> like maybe you could handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? Like, I mean, pain mode is how you're supposed to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, like, who would choose? I know. <laughs> Wait, is, is this like an add-on or something? Or did they like, uh, is it like, is pain mode like? Super hard. It's super hard. Don't do it. Normal mode. Not a good idea. It's not the, it's not the way the game's meant to be played, is it? Is it meant to be like, pain mode is like, meant for people who want pain and want to fail. Bad idea for the first play. Too hard? Okay. Normal mode. Uh, it's interesting that it's called normal mode. 
Because since it's called Lisa the Painful RPG, you'd think it would be pain mode would be the normal mm. way to play. Shadow Chat also says pain mode has less saves. Okay. 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 Normal mode. Huh. That sucks. <laughs> anyway, I would have helped, but like I said, I hurt my H string. I'm Terry Hance. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the land, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. <laughs> Wait. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Oh. Cool, it's settled. <laughs> Yeah, like this would have been fucked to play this without sound. Mm-hmm. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. Thanks, balloon. I wonder if I gave him a, a similar voice back, way back when. <laughs> oh my god, Terry hints. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make fire bombs with them. Yeah, or even just throw them in battle. So pick them up, Terry hints. <laughs> Yay, we are so close. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember this music. Saving. You can save your game by consult. You can save your game by consult the crow. Somebody's got to remember ya. Hint, Lord, hints. Jumping. When you're standing in front of a short enough ledge, you can hold the up button and press the space bar to jump. And hold the down button and press the space bar to drop down. Try it out, T-Man hints. F1 can remap the battle controls. All right. Thank you. Caution. Be wary of Terry's good looks. They are dangerously appealing. I always looking out, Terry Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can remap those then. <laughs> I'm soaking this in. WASD is what we're looking to rebind. Okay. A attack, S attack, and D attack, and W attack, I guess are okay. And right now they are bound to joystick two, joystick zero is where it's saying there's problems. That they're bound to multiple physical slots. All right, I'm going to hit the joystick and turn it into W, A. There, left on my D-pad is now attack A. Like I've been, access is what I've been using to walk so I can clear this if possible. It won't let me. Oh. Reset the default. All right. What is JS2 on your on on a on a joystick? But that's not true. No, they call JS6. Yeah. Zero. The axes. Uh, and, yeah. What is JS2? Never heard of. Uh, are the bumpers being used? You... I'm just gonna see if 
maybe I'll be lucky and it won't matter in battle where this matters. But it can't really get worse, I don't think. W is upper, yeah. There, I've just mapped it all to the Wait, D pad. You did it? Left, down, right, yeah, up. Okay. I mean, W is JS3, right? What is that? I don't know. What is JS3? You, what you bound to up is JS5, isn't it? No. If you fall across. Uh, what's happening here is, like, for instance, as long as A know. attack, and then it's four slots for it. Okay. Like, that's what's happening. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see if that works in battle. Let's see if that's stuck, first of all. It didn't. See if that's stuck. Oh my god, oh no. <laughs> the <laughs> why why did that mm. We did just save. Oh, okay, it went down a page. <laughs> I thought it just like... Damn it. What? Okay. Okay. I don't know if like... I'm gonna... I think I'll be ready to just to go ahead and lean forward and press the buttons all the time. It did it's stick. Safe. Well, that's good. So the problem is, one of the problems is I know that they faced challenges because they chose to do RPG Maker, which was never designed to export. Well, I mean, it's just, it, from what I remember, they were all saying it was a gong show, trying mm. to get this like exported and playable. Yeah. Oh. Resting. If you find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry wine. <laughs> I'll rest here. No, Undertale was, uh, Undertale was Game Maker, I think. Oh my God. Uh, oh no. Secrets out, Brad. She's gone. There's motivation for you. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro, this looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. <laughs> I figure you'll need someone to protect you. Did I give the same? Because this, to me, is a perfect yeah, voice. Yeah. <laughs> Did I give this guy this voice eight years ago? I don't. I've already asked it, but I don't think anybody answered. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering, I, considering I'm a very strong warrior. 
Terry Hintz joined you again. Mm. Oh. He's dead. Picture of Buddy's uncles. He calls her Buddy. <laughs> Rick, Sticky, and Cheeks. He found a rusty knife. A picture of a happy family. Take it with us. He's dead. A picture of the sky that Buddy drew. Pickables, I checked. Yes, you gave both Brad and Terry the exact same voice eight years ago. Thank you so much it's for so checking. It's so crazy. How? <laughs> I don't know. I have not looked at those videos at all. You found some mystery jerky. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Did that happen eight years ago? <laughs> I bet eight years ago we talked about how we wanted some jerky. I bet. Mmm. Jerky was yummy. Yo, get that jerky. <laughs> but, oh, from the bur? Or wait, where was the jerky? Go left. You're okay. Yeah. Uh, there was no true. balloon to save you that time. Yeah. Crap. It is true, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They were right. Mm-hmm. It's so funny that it's so ingrained in me, like my thought process, that I end up giving this guy the exact same. Oh, oh. God! <laughs> that I gave him the exact same voice. I mean, it also speaks to good character writing and design. Absolutely. When the voice just immediately just seems natural. You died that way when you played the demo. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, death count two. <laughs> Let's have some newsy. Whoa! You found some mystery jerky. Oh! He's holding something. You found a diet cola co a diet Coca Cola Cola. He's dead. That's rough, man. Yeah. Items, mystery jerky, dried meat of common Olathian animals. That guy earlier in the past Olaf. said Olath. Diet That's Coca Cola perfect. Cola. If you throw this, you can, this can at someone, it won't hurt. It's a soft drink. Recovers 200 SP. <laughs> oh, joy! This drug makes you feel nothing. Use it in a pinch. An empty glass bottle. Okay. Oh, I should equip. My Get weapon is sweaty wristbands. I only use my fists, it looks like. What about you? Hint Lord sweatbands. <laughs> Terry's childhood sweatbands. Oh my god. A cheetah Cheated. jersey, a very loud sports jersey. Diary entries, an assortment of motivational quotes to help Terry get through the day. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem, like I took that rusty knife, but neither seem to be able to equip it. Uh, like there's nothing down there. Yeah. But wait a minute, it's saying that, okay, there's nothing there. Optimize. You can clear. I mean, why does he have anything on at all? <laughs> all right. And you can have status. A lonely man who put his heart and soul into his hints. He'd be a real asset if he wasn't so weak. <laughs> 
current XP, zero. To next level, 50. All right. Let's go, I guess, to the right again then, way up there. Yeah, go up. Uh, can't we go right? No, there? there's a cliff. There's a cliff on the bottom level. Oh, you think there's, I can get across up here. Ow! Oh, noted. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh! I need the hint. Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. Jesus. Get him, Terry. Armstrong style. Walter Stingray. Terry, give me a hint. Gives an enthusiastic chant. Little cheer. 40 SP? I don't need that yet. Well, no, this might be hard. Yeah, go ahead. Brad. Okay. Yeah, Terry. give it to Brad. XQ. Terry cheers you on. Ter Terry is crying. <laughs> there, it's working. It's working. Brad does a punch, double punch. Terry started to cry after cheering me on. Yeah. Um, Armstrong style. I, I guess, like, attack. <laughs> Terry attacks. Terry is crying. That's working? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the combo you put in matters somehow. Yeah. Because it doesn't feel like it. Um, I'm gonna do zero. <laughs> Well, that was just a random crit chance, I think. Mm. I'm crying now because of the dirt. Oh, yeah, it's the dirt. It's the dirt. Yeah. This old salmon swimming right downstream tonight. <laughs> Terry the Hinsters, Terry the Hinsters moving on up. <laughs> combos. Some characters can use combos in battle via the WASD buttons. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering a specific combo. In your skills menu, you can find out how to do special moves by looking at the button sequence. Example, WWS is a, does buster punches. Does that make sense? Wary Terry. Uh, so if you look in your skills, you can see the combos? Oh. WWS, so that's... Uh, that's all we know. Up, 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 down. down. Yeah. He's dead. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. Kick him. He's dead. Found some mystery jerky. Whoops. He's dead. Yeah, he just called her girl ugly. I don't Ridiculous. know. Maybe they're referring to something else. <gasps> Maybe. He's dead. Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. <laughs> Come here so I can kick your ass! 
That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. <laughs> oh, God. Jeffrey Coomings. So, up, up, down is... is the attack? Yeah. I guess it is good that you guys can see the top there. He's... He coughed up blood. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the hamster's moving on. Terry, the hamster's moving on up. Ah. <sighs> What are these drawings? I drop straight down, so I can't get over there. But if I'm willing to take the damage, oh, I want to save first. But I could maybe fall down one from up there, then down again. But I don't know if I could get back from over there. You've got to be able to. Why would they put it there? Evil. Maybe this isn't the cliff down here. Maybe that's why. Okay, I'm gonna try. They would never want to trick us. Can't jump down. Doesn't matter. Okay. And this will just. Ow! 50. You could probably eat some mystery jerky to heal you up or something. If you feel you need it. No, I'm good. Okay. Alright, man. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search in case she's already been through here. You got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifters out. Sugar Boy Drifters. Oh, there's some jerky in the bottom left. I'm not willing to take that risk. That's fine. Yeah, maybe I can do it then. Perfume? That's not jerky. A sweet scent. The sweet scent revives an ally. Wait, did I have something else too? Oh no. If you ever miss jerky, they have lots of fish jerkies here. Sustainable uh, fish jerky? Uh, no, nah, I don't miss jerky. Oh. Is this joke, Bob, man? You think you can handle what's going on out there? <laughs> I'll give you a taste. Armstrong style. Sugar Mountain is his name. The rest of them are sugar, the sugar boys. Okay. That's cool. Give me a hint. Verbal bash, a disparaging words to upset the opponent. This can either make him cry or get him pissed. Or a little cheer. Just give me a little cheer. Terry cheers you on. Oh, it gave me 28 healing, but it took a lot. Sugar Mountain flails. Mountain flew a firebomb. We on fire. Uh, Ooh, that smell of burning sugar. Uh, maybe an item. Probably. Probably gonna need a mystery jerky. Heal up. Three 
100. Dang. Terry's almost dead. I feel like Terry's going to have to just heal me one more time and then die and get revived at the next place where I can revive him. You'll be fine, Terry. Guard? I think I need to heal up the guy who actually does damage. Mm. He's KO'd. Checks his hair. Checks his hair again. Damn it. Hopefully she's already dead so I can see her in hell. Poor Terry. Mags? I got eight mags. Weapons. Yeah, have a rusty knife, but don't use this on your dinner. You'll get sick. Can cause poison. Mm. Key items. No. Armors. No. Uh, I don't know what mags are. Maybe it's a currency. Oh, it is. 22 mags. Ah, like, okay. I'm going to assume porno. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> uh, this is rough for everybody here. Yeah. Oh, there's jerky up top. Oh, man. I wonder how I can get up there. Oh. Hola, hola. If you hear me. Really need to get that off my chest. Holla holla if you hear me. <laughs> He's dead. That's how you get up there, though. What? You go up to the middle platform, go right, up, and then right. Oh, I see the rope, yeah. But how were we supposed to get the other ones? Domestic jerky. What? Hmm. Lisa, are you doing this? This is pretty Dead. brutal. It's amazing. Our guy, our Terry, will come back. We have to sleep for him to come back, right? Saving doesn't do it. Probably. You got a worn helmet. That's nice. Uh... Man. Itchy poncho, make sure to wear an undershirt with this bad boy. Dead flower, personal keepsake. Sweaty wristbands. Sweaty from years of bawling. <laughs> um, um, you can use the perfume to revive Terry? Let's see, yeah, but don't. Hmm? I'm not gonna use the perfume. Not when the game taught me the guy op automatically comes back when he, when we sleep. Yeah, he can't wear the helmet either. Huh. They're dead. We're dead. You suffered serious damage. <laughs> Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. It's the back end. <laughs> this. I do it in this. Rings a bell. 
How you motherfucker? Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember the last time we the remember our time spent as we lads? I do, fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally, you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now. But, I like, I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow shitty friend's life. Or, all of your belongings. Choose wisely, what will you give us? All my belongings. Hmm, how boring. Alright boys, strip him quickly. I hear I hear tell that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. All of your stuff has been taken. Oh, they let us keep our clothes. Man. Who would sacrifice Terry? Does it kill Terry if you choose to kill Terry? And like all hints are gone. Ugh. My head. Whoa, you look like hell. Yeah, we got a scar. Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, my first hamstring. Now, first my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. <laughs> I like hanging out with you. <laughs> Terry Hintz joined you again? <laughs> Question mark, exclamation mark. Oh, God. This game's a pretty perfect example of where darker stuff, like, adds somehow to comedy by contrasting it. Yeah. I mean, you're a fan. Oh, yeah. Like, friggin', um, the fact that you like, uh, McBride so much. Yeah. I do. Ugh. Is that on us? Maybe. Terry ain't doing so good. He's still KO'd technically, even though he's in the story here. Yeah. They took all our stuff. Yeah, it's gone. Thought maybe we'd have something remaining. nipples. Seems like a storm of brewing around here. You look tired or you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. <laughs> also, if you need rest, you can use my tent. Thanks, guy. That's really nice of you. I have been like... I don't have a bottle. Take some soup. You don't have any empty bottles. I've been wanting like soup, like stew. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not nabe. <laughs> You're sick. Thanks, dude. Holy heck, who's saying this? 
Who said that? The world can be saved. Find her, it says. Status effects. Scared. Cool pick, huh? Arteristic. What? Scared stops you in your tracks. Wary slightly increases your defense. Weird reduces your reduces defense and attack. Stun knocks you out temporarily. Cry obscures your vision. Rage increases critical hit rate. Pissed makes you go berserk. Drunk strong but slow and dumb. Hangover reduces everything. Stink makes people avoid you. Cool regenerates HP. Depression makes your life suck. Depression and hangover look the same. Uh, um, oiled up makes you flammable. <laughs> Withdrawal hurts you all over. Joyed makes it all better. Yeah, there's a couple there that are the same. He was just sitting there. <laughs> Bobby, what? His name is Bobby something. Bobby, Bobby Diddle. Diddle. My intestines are in a disarray, <laughs> are in disarray. <laughs> Terry, here's a hint. You suck, I rule. Hey, Terry. <laughs> Maybe to the enemy. I think he's taunting okay. the enemy. Sick drops. <laughs> Oh, he's so likable. Uh, yeah. For me, he's um like what's his name's companion in Righteous Gemstones that mm. doesn't wear that his shirt's too short. Oh. Keith. Keith. I don't know where to go now. Uh-huh. See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over. Which sucks. Cause the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I gonna make fire bombs? Mm. So that is the dungeon. He's dead. Uh lots of options here. I guess I'll go uh. Wait, save? I did. Did you? Recently, oh, sorry, yeah. okay. I'm hungry. I need a bottle. Hello? Chicken man? Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this thing. Pervert war. Ow. Ow. Worth it. For oh, the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I love the... I like that design. Yeah. How they timed it, how you knew you were hungry right at that. I wonder if it, it must have been story triggered at least. Even if later it's not story triggered. That was too imperfect. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, you already filled it? Yeah. What's your favorite kind of soup, you guys? Soup, right? So. Yeah. I like a good. Seems like overkill, but. Noodle soup. 
Like chicken noodle, but not with the chicken. Mm, you've been meaning to try to make French onion, clam chowder, tomato rice. Chicken noodle with those stupid mm. short thin noodles, yeah. Hey pal, you okay? <laughs> the nipples. <laughs> it's a style. What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no, just asking. Uh-oh. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. Good night, Ole. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. That is funny because Lucas is from Mother 3 and has that same hair. That had to have been a reference. Yeah, and it's spelled the same way. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's not. No. They spelled it with a C in Mother 3. <clears throat> Not sure what that was about. <laughs> anyway. The whole mob of guys ran through here going on about a girl. A balding guy and a pink and phallic headed man in green cut the bridge out. They looked really scared. Neither of them fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then all of a sudden these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. <laughs> Apparently she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. That shook wit looked ugly. We saw a glimpse of the girl. Yeah, and she's on the posters. Uh, no. When this truck hit us, there was a girl, there was a woman oh. in a red dress, like, with her legs out the back. What, another woman? That's woman? That's why you Something's were Something's going that? on here. Oh, snap. They cut the bridge out. I like how I just watched. I guess yeah. we have no choice but to go down. Hmm? But which down? Oh, that this doesn't look right. Too dark. I'm gonna go save real quick. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're gonna fall off a cliff for sure. You think? Yeah, I think so. I feel like you should jump right now. You can't escape. Shadow, Brad feels weird. You cannot. Shadowy figure scratches. Scratches again. Alright, I guess I'm fighting. Verbally bash this thing, Terry. Missed. Terry is being hurtful. So we're dead. Shadowy figure strokes you. I don't like it. <laughs> Terry has fallen. Gotta do the combo right. You're screwed. I mean, he doesn't hit me for much damage. Oh, I'm starting to see the outline? Did I always see that outline of the person? I don't know. 
shadowy figure likes you, Brad is pissed. Painful blow. It's just licking me constantly. Brad has fallen. Yikes. Whew. Don't do that. That was an experience. <laughs> How do you feel about this game? That made me uncomfortable. Uh huh. The licking in the dark. Uh huh. I didn't like it. I like this. <laughs> this is nice. He fills me with. I'm gonna go back first. I want to go through the first door. I feel like that's pro that feels like progress to he me. It made me feel confident. And like, not everybody in the whole world is against me. Secret stash, 10 magazines. But how do I get out? Right? Ah. Didn't even hurt. Oh, what's that up there? Can't get up to it, right? No. Until I learn to jump gaps, if I do. That is nice. I should go back and get some soup. There's a lot of places we could go. Mm -hmm. Bars. You can often find people for hire in bars. If you see a pink poster, you can access your party formation for what you for when you want to swap party members in and out. Bars are great places. Oh, this is... Bars are great places. Chug a lug and Terry. <laughs> All right. Hello. Yo! What's happening, my man? You got a couple mags for me? I'll run with you with your pack, brother. An energetic ex-pro wrestler known for his <laughs> devastating headbutts. El Rage always puts the battle first and his health second. He has high speed and attack, but somewhat low defense. I don't have 70. 70. Megs. You don't have enough mags. Oh, man. It's audio. I have little interest in scandalous magazines. I am just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this world has to offer anymore. I'll buy him a drink. You don't have enough mags for a drink. Shit. I forgot. Uh -huh. Being drunk while in battle will increase your strength and decrease your hit rate. All in all, getting drunk rules. <laughs> Potato liquor. I'm good. I don't like being here. I don't like that sound. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go, what, what, do you think this was a short, that was a shortcut earlier then and we're about to, the pink barrels? Maybe. No. I, mm, okay. I don't know what I to do. Know. I feel like I would explore this area. For some reason, I feel like it'll wrap around. Ooh! It won't let me take it. Come on! Hey, it won't let me interact with any of this stuff, surprisingly. Dang it. You 
deal with it. Did I take damage from that? Childhood trauma is gonna hurt me. It means so much more in seeing that she was like our sister, or you know, we had a sister. Yeah. Or a brother. Yeah. Huh. is the best. People think this girl is some kind of godsend. That ain't so. It's gonna tear us all apart. <laughs> Listen here, brother. <laughs> it's supposed to be Hulk Hogan. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need you to get me a refreshing bottle of liquor. I do it myself, but I'm all washed up. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> Hulk Hogan. I'm still looking to get trash, brother. <laughs> potato liquor, potato liquor, potato liquor. Help an old man out. You actually have some, sir. Hmm. I didn't buy any. Oh, that was not in our inventory? No. Oh, sneak. Let's see. Yeah. No, not yet. Another bar, though. Oh. This is a different place. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay, look, I really want to see what the, the, the guy, other. Uh, I don't know. It's a long walk. Hello, old chum. I want to want to invest in my wonderful product. It's really worth your time. You obviously don't know business. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, do I save up for Hulk Hogan or I get, yeah. oh shit, that was an accident. Oh, well, well, wonderful. You don't have the paper pal, oh, thank God. <laughs> Honestly, I'm happier now that the world has ended. It helps me that my wife and kids aren't here. Can you get soup from him? Oh, you think? Maybe. Don't mind, Eagle. He's a bit of a prick. Buzz off. There's nothing on the table. Uh, you could try to get soup. Huh. Ow. So there's no hunger meter, though. Do you want to know what that is? What is it? Apparently it's your joy wearing off. Oh. I feel like they'll explain it later. Mm. Try buying something from me, I dare ya. Damp poncho. Why is this forever wet? That's really gross. Prevents burning though. Shag poncho. This is a, just a square of old carpet. It's flammable. Dainty shawl. You look like a real dandy with this. Drab tank top. An earthy color, earthly colored tank top. The shag poncho would be better, but it's flammable. It's better than what I have. I'm gonna keep saving up. Mm. They all seem so enticing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
three free bottles. Dang, you don't know how do you get out? This guy. It was because of the, that's why they. Yay. Very smart. <laughs> what the hell, dude? That hurt. <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah. What a rush. <laughs> that was great. Take this. A bottle of perfume. Dude, thanks. Pretty good. Oh, it means that you have the withdrawn status effects. That's why you, you were doing very little damage before. Hmm. Oh, you can empty the soup. So it isn't worth healing yourself just a few points. All right. I'm gonna go backwards now and go talk to that man. You took all of Diglett's soup. <laughs> <laughs> Go up there? What's in here? Oh, this is where I came from. Yeah. What was over the bridge then back there? I don't know. God, the colors in the cave. It's so good. All this for that man. You better be worth it. <laughs> the girl's just up ahead. She's in an old clubhouse. But those pretty boy pricks kicked me out. Aww. So now I'm gonna kick up the pretty out of you, prick. Jesus. Fight. Booker Clinton. Bookers. They are always bad news. <laughs> Remember Booker from uh, Roseanne? Oh. He dated All right. Jackie, played by... Clooney? Yes. This guy's tough. from Bioshock. He was a good guy. The music is unsettling. Uh-huh. So that's why I'm not doing any I need to take joy? I don't have joy anymore. Mm. Oh, it's SP. That wasn't worth it, but... Oh, I'm fighting good. Yeah. Suddenly. Maybe the effects of being withdrawn are just temporary. Come and go. Yeah, because I'm doing good damage again. He just healed. A butt ton. Let's 
Terry, get good. Sure. I could try his, uh... Hey, why doesn't he have skills anymore? Terry? What the heck? Can Terry guard Brad? I w wouldn't want him to. <laughs> Does attacking with Terry seem to confuse him, at least? Oh, you have to go to hints, not skills. Verbal bash. He's crying, yay! It's a risk, because it could enrage him. <laughs> Turn it down a little bit. Uh, all right. I'm unsinkable like the Titanic! Dang. Here's a hint. You suck, I rule. The hinster's moving on up. Sick drops. Terry's basically Deacon. <laughs> Aww. Very well, I should go safe after that battle. Mm. Where was the closest? Terry, stop bleeding. Oh, nice. That's nice. Where's the closest crow? Not sure. Is this where I came out? Yeah. Wow, there's. Don't ruin Terry's reputation like that. <laughs> the crow's right back here. Ah, nice. Oops. So you can go left. Feels as though there's gonna get to a point where we can jump little gaps. Because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't, yeah. definitely can't do it now. And that's like a, can get water out maybe there. The rains are coming. What's that from? Tank girl. <laughs> she says that? No, uh, I think it's Jane Cusack's Joan Cusack's? I meant Joan Cusack's. Oh, well, that's She's as far as we can get. The rain oh. lady. Think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fat and dull looking. <laughs> Get a bike, dude. Lose a couple pounds. What? We look fine. Can I make this drop? Can't. And I can't make <gasps> this jump oh either. Oh my gosh. Evil. another time mm -hmm. when we have a bicycle. Now we know. Does anybody know how long the game is? I think it's kind of like not too long. 
So it has a follow-up, like too. 12 hours. That's my guess. There's a follow-up game called Lisa the Joyful. Mm-hmm. Which I had never heard of. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so interesting, like, the, the games like this exist. Mm -hmm. Never had a publisher, never had any kind of promotion. Mm -hmm. Definitely what you would call a cult title. Did I go? I must have gone this way. What? No, I didn't. The Joyful was a Kickstarter bonus? It was Kickstarted, this game? I don't remember it being Kickstarted. Was that where the demo came from? Yeah, I think so. Oh, so we were promoting it during the Kickstarter and doing by doing the demo. Thank you, Flashpoint. 10 to 11 hours for a run through, up to 25 hours to 100% it. Okay. Thanks, Alpha 2. <laughs> oh, hello there. My name's Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about the Olath and what happened. And many tales, would you like to hear? Boring. <laughs> Boring. Great, get comfy, boy. I have many a tale to tell. Let's see. Oh, right. It's all, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. I want to give this guy... Sit tight for my Star Worms knowledge. <laughs> or wait, maybe she brought it, bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put the ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. <laughs> Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course, ho ho. When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yup, it was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I locked down, re looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had had a little bit too much excitement for one day, ho ho. I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to a more attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. <laughs> Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. <laughs> His wife, Karen Forknight Plattenberger, <laughs> plate burger. <laughs> Yeah, one of those women. <laughs> I'm remembering this. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women lack tall men. I thought women lack tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway. 
my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, <laughs> crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to compete with these fictional hunks. I yai yai. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled up, I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Getting lightheaded, this this voice requires me to breathe out as I speak. This is very cold water. If you want regular water, it's in yours. You're doing great. <laughs> then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. So if you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July, was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to the barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard? Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue, for the BBQ. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow, ho <laughs> ho. So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the BBQ. Once we were in the party, once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. <laughs> anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife mm -hmm. were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave up. I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple choice words mm, mm. about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. <laughs> it's so good. This, this should be the rest of the game. How many stories can you listen to? <laughs> Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. Talk, I'll talk to you later. Wow! <laughs> I love it. My head. Yeah. That voice is a challenge, so you know. It's very, very good. Try talking. Try talking. And with every breath, you're letting all the air out. I now totally believe that this was a story from one of the devs <laughs> who worked on this. They were like, this guy keeps bringing up this story. Yep. It's going in the game. <laughs> Was there anything of significance in there? No, just that's it. Hmm. 
few. Are you talking about Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle? What about him? Like the kid from Malcolm in the Middle, he doesn't shut up. Oh. It's I don't been recall. A long time. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What? Are you following me or something? Ho, ho. Anyway, I need to know if I did the same voice for him. Yeah. I need to know. The, especially because it may have been pre Star Worms knowledge. Whoa, there was a pre? Anyway. I've been wonder what all happened here. What was the big, that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What happened to our earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally, I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard a new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that that ch that chilo can really grasp child. that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there was there is some water damage. <laughs> You'd think a doctor could make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. <laughs> I wish my wife was like that. <laughs> oh... What's this? You didn't put out as much of an accent from eight years ago. It was just kind of a happy, normal voice. But this voice works much better. Okay. Oh, my God. Big ol' melons. <laughs> just then. <laughs> I thought the story was over. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it to the ground, all the way to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw a devil lock, looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. <laughs> Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around, but I've got many a tale to tell. Nern Guan <laughs> joined your party. Mm. Okay. I did not expect it. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure we experienced all this before, I just... Uh, yeah, thank you so much for looking that up, Pickables. Thank you for looking back yeah. on those old days. Uh, your poor head. Is it like... closing vision? <laughs> yeah. It was getting dark. Well, he's with us now. Don't talk to him. He has no skills. He can discuss techniques. Tell your friend some of your favorite techniques. Increases TP of one ally. Okay. 
Oh, he has a revolver? So well, hello. Stuff. Bullets usually put ends to lives. Wood <laughs> shield, a stiff shield. Dainty shawl. You, you look like a real dandy with this. Hmm. <gasps> oh! It's like Halloween month right now. I would love to watch Freak Show again. Mmm, dandy. Mm. The self-proclaimed historian of his time, he talks a lot. True dad, true dad. Nern Orator Guan. Brad Nobody Armstrong and Terry is uh, Hint Lord. This is his mm -hmm. middle name. Or maybe it's his class. Uh, all right. Freak show from American Horror Story. That season. It's a good season. It's one of my favorites for sure. You can't really beat it. If not my favorite season. It's still going, I think, yeah, American Horror I Story. Yeah, checked hard out. Really? Like, I mean, it's an anthology, so it could get no, better. No, but then... But then they brought it all together, remember? Yeah, so maybe they're turning a new page and they won't, like, you know? Right, right. That's my hope, is that the, since they, have they, have they, like, gone back? Because the, the witches season, like, tied together. No, 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 or, it wasn't coven season. It wasn't the witches season. A co apocalypse was bad. So did that, did they turn a new page anyways? Like, did they decide, like, Apocalypse wraps up that kind of, like, if you want to call it a arc? But it's not. Mm -hmm. A very sloppy arc, if it is, because they didn't even include some of the seasons in their, in their arc tie-up, I don't think. Oh, really? So I think some things were excluded, or not included. Weird. Um, where should I go now? Uh... Do I go to the right now? Yeah, I guess we're kind of like looking for a bike, maybe. Oh, this guy was next. All right. There's an abandoned building down the way here. My friends and I are playing some cards in there. I just stepped out for some fresh for some air, but you should join us. You don't want to fight? <laughs> I thought this was a boss. Cool. I thought he was waiting to fight, especially with the save right in He's front of him. He's luring us. You think? Yep. I think it's a trap. Yep. Are those legs? I think that dresser has an udder. I was going to say, <laughs> is that legs or an udder? That's weird. <laughs> Well, hi! <laughs> hey, buddy. Wool wristbands, itchy to wear, tight to stare. Longbow, this bow provides greater range. Pea shooter. Uh, like, can anybody use this? We only have 19 mags. I could take, oh, I can't, okay. All right, can I, what can I sell? 1984 was the season after Apocalypse. It was basically 80s horror. Oh, yeah, we wanted to see that. Yeah, we did. Maybe we could... What, what is it What is it currently streaming on? Could we watch that now in this... Like, Becky and I have time to spare now that baseball's over. Baseball's a fucking time sink, man. I, I kind of regret it. <laughs> well, it's not our fault. We grew up with the 92-93 season, the best freaking season ever in Toronto. Uh-huh. And then we just suddenly out of nowhere decided to start watching again after we like live our young adult lives and mm -hmm. are settling down in Vancouver, feeling cozy, doing the show every day. You're like, let's maybe baseball's a nice hobby to watch. Baseball. Get back into it. And we do. And they have an amazing two years in succession. And we're like, we're good luck for this team. And we get addicted and keep watching, and these last few years have just been fucking awful, but I'm, like, addicted to it. Mm hmm It's, like, summer. Yeah. You know? This year was better, though. We kind of, like, just had it on in, in the background as we were doing other things. I try, bit. but I get invested in things. Yeah, you do. 
Found a cigarette. So this place is where they're just playing cards? That's nice. That's what they say. I'm not buying it. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? <laughs> down in my heart. <laughs> I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart today. Joy down in my heart. <laughs> How about you? Could it be you? Uh oh. Uh no. Oh. It's you. Your heart seems ha unhappy. Let's cheer it up. You got some joy. Remember to take care of yourself. I'll check up on you soon. Not what I was expecting to happen in there. No. Hmm. Uh, it makes me think we shouldn't take joy. Yeah. It makes me think we should power through the withdrawal. Guys. Shit, I should be able to read that kanji. Dojo. <laughs> Dojo. Awesome. Do, it's like street place. Street. This guy. Welcome <laughs> to Bill Mohammed's Iron Tiger Karate Center. Would you like to learn my iron tugger technique? It won't be easy. Sounds lame. <laughs> Sounds lame. What? Whatever. You just don't ha get karate stuff. I guess we'll take it. Fine. First, a test. See that to cliff over there. Uh -huh. <gasps> you must fall off it. What about the little blood splatter under it? Until I think you prove your work. It's like we do this as a routine and it's hard to sometimes think of how a Japanese person would say something. Well, his things. last name is Mohammed. Yeah, I know what I'm thinking. He's trying really hard. Mm, Speak mm. to me when you think you've proven yourself. Some of these things Japanese just would avoid saying completely. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighbor's amazing when he's trying to say a word that he just can't pronounce. He just says, Kind of like that, he goes, oh, 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 and we have to guess what word he's about to say. Yeah. <laughs> mm, world is a really hard word. I swear he can say it better, but I feel like he puts it on. That he <laughs> thinks it's say funny. Pie. I think he thinks it's funny how, how hard L's and R's are, how ridiculous our language is. He's like, wow. <laughs> we love our neighbor. Yeah. Ow. Well, he said do it till he thinks that. All right. Are you going to stop me? I'm not going to stop me. He plays it up for the Canadians. Yeah. He knows a remarkable amount of English for somebody mm -hmm. his age. The majority, well, I think that, it's just that like usually you see more effort from the younger people, maybe around people around our age mm -hmm. and younger. Oftentimes with people, he's not super old, but like often when people are 
a bit older than us, they don't even try. Yeah. They're just like, nah. I learned some of that in school. I'm not I'm not interested. Yeah. And he's not really let us I don't feel like we've gotten out of him why he knows so much English. Didn't he say maybe some in the dojo, like mm. in the in the So he was a sumo trainer and in the heya? some of the Rikishi mm. didn't speak Japanese, but the common language between them would be English. Really? Yeah. Oh, because they get guys from Mongolia yeah, and Georgia. Russia and Yeah. 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 Oh, I could have stopped it a, a while ago. <laughs> well Damn done. It. You've proven your power. You got Karate Scroll. Ooh. Make sure you read it, though. Ito. Let me see. I often wonder what your neighbors think of your work. Not much. He thinks it's funny. Yeah. He's like, he says that we some, he sometimes hears us down here, and he's like, he, just, he goes, he goes, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to him. <laughs> it's written in English. It can't be that authentic. <laughs> Increases defense, though. Man, I really wish he had stopped us. <laughs> What's the cigarette do? I don't know. Flavor so smooth it heals poison. This ad is sponsored by Mart Low Cigarettes. Mm, okay. So cigarettes heal, heal poison. So. I thought we were going to learn how to jump from that dude. <laughs> right? Damn. You should have a new skill. Surprise ah. attack. DDA, down, down. Or no, d it's actually right, oh, right, right, left. right, right, left. Uh, an unsuspected kick to the groin causes stunning. Noise. Oh, so our combos take SP. I didn't know mm. that. That's an interesting way to cast spells. Mm hmm. Still can't afford that guy. No. We got the joy, and so do you. No. I mean, is joy in limited supply here? I don't know, they just gave us some. Right? Our party. We got quite the team. Oof. Is this soup refill? Yeah. God damn it. Um. We haven't found a bed. Wait. There's the tent. Where's the tent? Uh. I think <clears throat> it's just over. Oh. Maybe it's way, way back, actually. We should revive Terry. Oh, that guy's not doing great. You're new. I'll come back. Did you take uh, over the other guy's body? Dang. All right, Nern. Let's do this. Armstrong style. So the little insignia Punkered. shows that we need. Topics. Discuss techniques. Increases the TP of one ally. I don't need that. Shoot him. Punker. All right. 18. Punker's craving joy. And he coughed up blood.
I can't give it to him. Huh. Terrifying. Yeah, I don't like him. So that's what happens if you take joy and then have withdrawal and don't get any. I guess. It ain't pretty. Was this? Man, how did I get to the the tent? It's on the ground floor. What was all this? This Nothing. will be something later, maybe. No, this is where the... Uh, this is where... Oh, this is, yeah. Do I have to... I think I have to go through here, then. Yeah. I would, like, you know, I don't think I need those guys, <laughs> honestly. I don't think that they do a lot. Big Pancake what? Big Pancake Nation? Norton. Norton. Oh, he is tough. Brad is craving joy. Who do I want to wake? Wake up, Nern. You're gonna be a healer. Nern revives with 117 HP. Great, now I want frickin' pancakes. Thanks a lot, I kinda Nern. had a craving for pancakes the other day. Oh wait, it was that guy. Really? Yes. I have to learn how to make vegan pancakes. So eventually, it feels like Brad gets warmed up to battle. And does more damage. Yeah, it's like Joy Withdrawal forces you to be useless for the first few turns. Ooh, that was tasty more soup. Than I needed. But yeah. Try kicking him in the nuts. I could. Yes. Because I know that we did another battle where we started doing little damage and all of a sudden out of nowhere, like Brad yeah, just right. like started doing good damage. This is your jam? Yeah. I mean, Nern's kind of killing this. I mean, it's, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, found a recipe, Becky. There's rice milk in it. I could probably use soy milk. 
instead of rice milk. Just because that's what we have. It doesn't use eggs though. Guys, is there, like, do I have to take joy in this game? Like, is this even possible? Thanks, quiet. Because this isn't going away, this joy withdrawal. Hello, holy cow. Hello, Kulnara. It is possible to go joyless, but it is a challenge. Ah, uh, maybe this I need to take some joy. Thank you, quiet. Oh, finally the withdrawal went away. Ooh. Went away. All right. Now we can finish this off. You're in for a world of hurt, pancake. Go, Brad. Did it all for the nookie. <laughs> Ooh, level up. Ooh, new skill, fireball. Okay. Phew. I wonder if there's even really a good enough reward to go joyless. It's empty now. Oh. Now in the night, things can happen. Okay, got lucky. You didn't make any more soup? What the hell you been doing all night? Yeah. Useless. Wasn't there like, I guess we'll probably go exploring again when we get our bike. Yes, happy Thanksgiving weekend, fellow Canucks. Indeed, Flashpoint. Oh, indeed. Would you like a Thanksgiving style dinner? No? I don't like Thanksgiving. He has nothing to be thankful for. Damn the man. Thanksgiving is not a great holiday. Mm. It's like, I don't know, it's just, it's like Easter, kinda. You didn't check on that guy. First really? Time around. He's dead. Um, I can understand that feeling. Agreed with Fraser on this one. Did I check that hole though? No, he didn't. He didn't check any of the holes, I don't think. It is a thing. Say what? What? Thank you, Quiet. A snake. I'm excited. Little cheer, verbal bash, inform. Uh, I use disparaging words on this snake. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Terry's feeling hurtful. There was no effect. Wow! Is that a habu? <laughs> that was a big bite. Nuts. I 
<laughs> There's his fangs. Oh my god. Doesn't he have a little cheer for bread? Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> 20. Gotta smoke a cigarette. Carrie has gotta. Oh, no, he did. Raging Sea. How long do you think the. <laughs> my sweet, sweet wife. My sweet wife, God rest her soul. That's one for the books. Sweet lemon tea. <laughs> I'm gonna take that advice. That snake. Yeah. Scared the dickens out of me. Mm. You found a cigarette. Uh, I was gonna say that it looked like there was something gro glowing there. Glowing there? There was. I guess I have to go sleep. I also feel like, and I felt like this in Vancouver, the weather is too hot the second weekend in October to be like cooking a big ass hot meal, like a turkey dinner we would make in Vancouver. Yeah, it always felt wrong. Yeah, yeah, same with Easter. It's like, it was like 12, 15 degrees. You have to go, oh yeah, no, you're good. It's a bucket. Tommy, don't play with matches. How'd you even get those, sport? <laughs> Give them a... Oh, shit. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Oh, uh-oh, Tommy... <laughs> Ha uh, now look what you did. <laughs> it's okay, sport, we'll put it out. We'll get that put out. <laughs> hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? You got the bucket? Oh! You fool! <laughs> Would that have happened if I, I stepped one past him by accident instead of talking to him? Well, he doesn't have to look after the kids anymore. You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! <laughs> that bucket! <laughs> Get that bucket of water quick! <laughs> oh my god. Uh... You got the bucket. The music, oh my god. <laughs> Here you go. You were too late. This is the second most tragic thing that happened in my life. <laughs> All right, oh. I need to know now. We just saved recently. Uh, I need to know what happens if you get the bucket. First, I want to know if I could have talked to him first, because I accidentally walked one past him uh. and pressed A. Jeez, oh, I have to go around the horn again. I Twelve. Need Twelve. So we'll be wrapping up soon anyway, but uh, it was through that thingy. 
The game is hilarious, Freaking which right it is. Oh helps God. with the dark themes. Yeah! <laughs> Nern is free to poison. Phew. That's nice. I can't get past him right now. Tommy, don't play with matches. I had to get those for it. Give him the... <laughs> they light it. Dude, could you hand me that bucket of water? Okay, what happens if you go up and get the bucket of water? Dude, could you hand me that bucket of water? I can't uh, get past. You just can't? Okay. What happens if I just... Uh, no, this was planned. I I thought I was controlling it. Mm. All right. <laughs> that was my gasoline pocket. <laughs> now, what happens if I leave and don't help him? <laughs> you can still hear the burning. <laughs> they just Shit, keep burning man. forever? <laughs> Again. I like how the kids don't even move. Yeah. They just accept their fate. Fuck. By the way, I have this video to show you. Uh -huh. Where? I'm scared. I don't know. Does that have to do with monkeys? No, oh my God. Okay. What is it? It's where. In this. Uh. Like, it's a school. It looks like it's in, like, a Southeast Asian, like, country. Maybe, like, either Indonesia or Thailand or one of those. Just based on the ethnicity, but I'm not an expert. But these kids are just sitting there. And then a person comes in in this, like, crappy costume. Like, it's just basically, like, a black kind of raincoat kind of over their head with a mask. Mm -hmm. And, like, pulls it open and, like, holds out, like, a bag of chips to the first kid. And he, like takes the chips and then the guy immediately puts the like costume over top of the kid and runs away with the kid screaming oh my god and then comes back in and starts offering more candy to each of the kids and they're all like and they're like some of them are traumatized well yeah yeah and i would have been kind of okay with the lesson but the person kept on, so that's all this person, this guy does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were too late. Um, but they kept on grabbing each kid's hand and trying, like when the kids wouldn't do it, he'd grab their hand and put it on the candy and they're like trying to take it away and then they'd start to cry because they touched it. Uh, I was like, if you'd, it'd still be kind of traumatizing, like maybe a valuable lesson if like you just left it, like just gone around and offered them each and they all refused. Oh my god, that's wild. Tough times, man. Um, so that's where we're gonna wrap up today. So in... So someone here in our chat said this is where they got stuck. Oh Which really? Shadow su chat suggests that we have to have four members and more levels before we can try to progress, I guess? Like, so I need to stock up on mags? Maybe. Like, I need that guy in my, um... Maybe. So that's I... a good tip, not to waste magazines. Yeah. How could you even continue? One other experiment I want to do before we quit today is I want to keep going past that oh, snake. Oh, they meant more levels before the area with the snake? Oh, like I have to level up before... And that's how you progress? Is through there? Like, that's what I must do? Yeah, is that correct, guys? Oh, that seems to be what Pickles is saying. Like, one of the things that makes me curious... Oh, this is the wrong spot, right? I don't know what you're trying to do. Go back to the snake. Oh, yeah. One of the things that I'm interested, though, is... Are the battles finite? I am a fan of games where the battles are finite. Mm where each battle is unique. That's why I think I really like Undertale because of that. It's like every enemy you face, is there even a part in Undertale where you face randomly generated baddies forever? I think the game has finite amount of baddies. Yeah, it might actually. Like all scripted. Strong men only. 
All the blood on the reeds. So it's just all these snakes? <laughs> the snake's stronger than the last one. Yeah. So the withdrawal seems to come and go. Yeah, over a certain number of amount of time. It's just kind of like random and crappy when it happens. Like you never know when it's gonna crop up and then you're like, you gotta hope that you're not. What an ominous freak, we haven't even talked about that. I know, like, right? Jesus Christ, man. It's got dark themes and yet it is objectively hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking tale about his bitch wife. <laughs> Crafty bitch. God rest her soul. <laughs> Uh, um, I think I explored them from left to right. I think that's what I was doing. Ish. I mean, we did all of them. Yeah, we did them all. Pretty much exhausted them. I forget where, where there was progress. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll have more people that can help on the night. Or, I mean, I hear some shadow, shadow chatters chat. have been trying. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for watching it, guys. This is, it was fun to return to it. A little bit painful at the very beginning, trying to get things working properly. It Not the game's the fault for the most part, except for the fact that the uh, controller didn't work for the combos. Mm -mm. Just bad luck, anyway. But, um, a lot of fun. Yes. The Hanging Girl is from the creator's previous game. The dark cave where the sh with the shadowy figures is where you can grind both levels and mags to progress. So the game requires you grind oh. the dark cave? I wouldn't have expected from this game, because like, it just feels like the game has like, got a real kind of Undertale-esque, um, linear, dole out the story mm -hmm. type of thing. Doesn't feel grindy? A little bit at the beginning. Interesting. Gotta get licked. Just in die in the this place. Ah, uh, yeah, I see that a guide suggests grinding the dark cave to level five. Mm. I think the first time we got destroyed in the dark cave, we were suffering from withdrawal. Which is why we were so weak. Right. Yeah, so the withdrawal seems to be random. It, I wonder if it is random. I wonder if, like, one way to get through it without taking joy would be to reload saves, as lame as that is. If it is random, like, maybe the next time that you go in to battle, it won't crop up. I wonder. It'll be, we'll, we'll do some I tests. I don't want to take joy. Yeah, I don't want to take joy. Um, Just a little bit of grinding at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's better than I actually remembered. I remembered it being funny, but that fucking, that, like, diatribe, multiple diatribes, and then he gets ahead of you and is there to say more after telling you that he's, you're smothering him. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It reminds me of home. Just, like, these stories and these people Bath you're supposed and to works. know. And like, yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Jen. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, just got done watching your Left 4 Dead reaction from 10 years ago. Just subscribed. Oh, you're brand new to the channel? Holy mother fuck. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, cool. Alright, thanks to Daverball yeah. today for sponsoring and thanks for everything, buddy. Uh, we will return to this. And we will return to this, and we'll also play. He's got another game in mind for us to play at some point. You guys will see some more from Dave Ball's suggestions in the future. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I definitely want to keep playing this game, and I, I'm I'm happy to accept tips like those from the Shadow Chat about grind. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to get stuck in a game like this because um, it's all about the flavor. Mm -hmm. It is interesting that it's so challenging the battles, and you could do painful mode. Yeah. It's painful enough. Oh, they said it painful 
in that there are less save points. It's funny. Somebody just said, please play it more. This game deserves better. It has 10,000 plus reviews on Steam. That's just the people who stopped to review it. Right? The, 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 the creator did just fine with sales. But isn't that nuts that, like, not... It's not more well known. It's it's a cult. It's definitely. I mean, what what is well known? Household name. Like. Even among non gamers. Why is it Which? weird for this random indie game to become a household name? You know how hard that is to become Undertale levels of fucking yeah. well known. Yeah. That's a, a, what what what's happened with Undertale is just insanity. Yeah. That's outrageous how popular that got. That's yeah. just like a, that's a flash in a pan. As amazing as Undertale is, it's just like it hit struck a chord with the mm -hmm. right people at the right time, mm -hmm. and just like you know. It's wild. Like, yes, Stardew Valley is another good example. It's like, what, you know, there's plenty of games like Stardew Valley mm -hmm. that were that are also quite good. It's just like, y you get the right moment, the right time, the right people with right. a good game still too. But yeah, I'd say that this is like 10,000 plus reviews on Steam. It's very successful, but mm -hmm. definitely more mm -hmm. cult than Undertale. Yeah. Which is weird to say, because like, I grew up with Earthbound, and that was a cult title because of its scarcity and mm -hmm. lack of marketing. Mm -hmm. And then now people to, to think Undertale is cult when it's like you so ubiquitous. Like there's friggin' uh, Taiko no Tatsujin games mm. with the song in it. It's like can't right. really call it cult, and yet the humor isn't very mainstream, is it? So it's like, anyways, it's interesting. Yeah. Anywho, oh, somebody says pain mode makes the save point be one use only, then changes changes some battles, gives more lore cutscenes. Oh, interesting. And is overall harder. Interesting. I don't need too much lore. Can you stay shard? Yeah. I, I, I just want this more humor. Good. Yeah. All right, guys. But, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Out. Ooh. Ooh. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and thank you to Dave Ball for sponsoring. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Shows we want to get done this month, I know we want to do uh, Luigi's, Mansion. Luigi's Mansion, which I believe we'll be able to wrap up this year. Mm -hmm. I think it'll only take one more show, but I could see possibly two. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I feel like people last year, nah, you can't trust what people say, but Gooigi, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to wrap up, uh, yeah, that. And then we want to do our classic Halloween uh, tradition. Binding of Isaac. I'm not sure about stories. I feel like last year was get the ink, the well was getting a little bit dry with mm -hmm, tales, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so I'm worried that this year we won't have enough. Mm -hmm. Like we've had, we have a we have a core community, right? And they only have so much I childhood know, to de delve back into. Um. So I'm not sure if we'll. We you can, can do, do co-op co again. Did we do co-op last year? I think we did for a little bit. For a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe playing Bumble. Um, Flashpoint has a sponsored show. Oh, uh, yes. It is Halloween-y. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep, so we got some more spooky games to cover this month. And a couple sponsored shows coming up, uh, including House Party, featuring Doja Cat. <laughs> The rapper mm. coming this month. Um, I hope you guys will be ready to have some fun with us with that. <laughs> I acknowledge it's not our typical game, and I was yes that house party. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Look, it showed up on Catapult. It. <laughs> I bid on it as like almost as a joke, and then they accepted. And then I looked at it and the reviews and the trailers. I mean, I'd looked at it before, but not quite as deep. And then like it looks funny. <laughs> and I think we will find it funny. And I think LMAO knows us, Lisi. 
<laughs> so yes, we are going to play that because they paid to for us to play it. Now I'm interested. Right, See? right. Sponsorships work, even if it's not our typical thing. Who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye bye.